can check after this video because I'm really curious. Anyways, we're going to go back towards where we wanted to go because now we need to activate the uh, time machine or whatever they called it. Time accelerator. That's what they called it, right? You know, my memory, it's like a goldfish. I read something and it's gone. Because part of the problem is, is like when I read something, I'm not thinking about it. So I don't actually comprehend what I'm reading. It's a weird thing. Like, I can read perfectly fine, but not if I'm saying it aloud. If I'm saying it aloud, it doesn't, it doesn't go through my brain. It goes through my vocal cords, and that's it. Again, the scary corner. Nice and easy. Nice and easy as I'm punching the throttle, sliding it a little bit. Yeah, that's nice and easy for a YBR. Alright, so go to this one. Yeah, time accelerator, that's what it was. The time accelerator is powering up, wait a minute, and then fire it. You don't have to actually wait a whole minute, it's only a few seconds, like 10 seconds, and fire when ready. So we go to the white checkpoint, and you know what, this time we're going to get a cool camera angle. So I'm just going to freeze physics for a second, and there we go, we got everything nicely in view. There's one thing I just remembered, black hole state is accelerated. Once a black hole loses its mass, do Hawking radiation at the last moment of its life. It releases all its energy at once, equating to an explosion. Radiator damage is a black hole release 270 petajoules of energy. Wow. Oh, okay, great. Or 88 megatons of TNT has 3,874 times more energy than your hero. With that line, gets me.